this video today is going to help us learn how to draw, screen grab, and upload images into Canvas quizzes. What you see behind me is an example quiz. Okay, this is not something you're going to actually have to do, but it is similar. I mean, the process is similar, so we can practice using this quiz question. Okay, the first thing you will notice on questions like this is that there's going to be a bunch of links to help us do the things we need to do. The first one, of course, is to watch this video. If you can't remember the steps that I'm going to show you, then at any time you can watch this video again. You can pause it, you can play it, whatever you need to do to help you along the way. Okay. The next thing in this list is a document that shows you the screen grab keystrokes. Now what this is talking about is further along here, I'm going to show you how to do this, but depending on what kind of computer you're using, the keystrokes you will use will be different. Okay, so let me open up this document to show you what I mean. It looks like this. Okay. Now, I am on a Mac computer right now, so I am going to use the Mac keystrokes, Shift, Command, 4. But you are probably either on a Chromebook, right? You could be on a Mac or on a PC, a Windows-based computer. It does not matter what kind of computer you use, but depending on what you're using, you will use these keystrokes, okay? So before you start, make sure you know what keystrokes you're going to be using. Okay, let's dive in. Back to our quiz question. The last link here is where the real fun begins. This is going to help us draw those whiskers on our cat's face. Okay, so let's click this. This is going to take us to Nearpod. Okay, once Nearpod opens, and it takes just a second, if it doesn't already fill in your name, go ahead and type in your name and then click on Join Session. Once you're there, Nearpod draw screen will open up. The instructions should be at the top of the screen. If they're not, they're probably just hidden and you just hit the blue arrow to drop those down. Again, our instructors are our instructions are to add whiskers to the cat's face and then to give the cat a name. Okay? To add whiskers to his face, I'm going to use the drawing tool. Okay, they're right down here at the bottom. So this far left one is the pencil. I do not care what color you use, red, orange, yellow, green, I don't care. I'm going to use blue today, but it doesn't really matter. This scroll bar here gives you the different size of your drawing tool. Because we're doing whiskers, they're not terribly fat, so I'm going to lower this down a little bit. Okay, And then all you have to do is start drawing. I'm going to scoot this over out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to start drawing my whiskers. Now, please don't make fun of my artistic ability. This is not a contest. But we'll see how well I can draw whiskers. Ooh, that one's kind of crazy. All right. There are some pretty good whiskers. I'm happy with that. If you're ever not happy with something you've drawn, there are redo and undo buttons. See how I undid that whisker? Now I can just redo it because I don't, I don't mind it. It's an okay whisker. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is add the name. I have to name this cat, right? So I'm going to grab a different color, and I'm going to make my drawing tool even skinnier. Because when you're writing words, the fatter the line, the harder it is to understand. So I'm going to make my tool a little bit thinner than it was, and I'm going to just give this cat a name. I'm going to name him Fluffy. And just do the very best you can to, t to write out... When you're asked to write things, just do the best you can to write it neatly so that I can read it. Okay? Good. Now we've just finished our, our, our drawing. We've done all the instructions, so we are ready to now screen grab this image. This is where I was talking about with those keystrokes. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use... Do you see my cursor right here? I want you to watch closely when I use these, these, keys, these keystrokes. This little arrow is going to change. I'm going to hit Shift Command 4 and notice how it changed to crosshairs. This is what I'm going to use to, to grab a picture of my work here. So I'm going to go up to the top left hand corner, click my mouse or my trackpad, and then drag to the bottom right. That rectangle tells you 
how much of the image you are grabbing. Okay, so I'm going to grab the whole image, and then when I let go, it's going to take a picture. Okay, now on a Mac, it automatically saves that picture to the desktop. Depending on your computer, it may save it to a download file. It is important for you to know where it is saving your image, whether it's in the desktop, a download file, or maybe it's just in the clipboard. But again, on that document I showed you, it'll tell you where it saves it so that you know where to go to find it, okay? Now, we are ready to go back to Canvas. So I'm gonna flip back over to Canvas now. Again, when you're doing this, it should just be another tab in your browser. You should be able to easily go back just like I did. You see how I did that? Once you're back in Canvas, this big box at the bottom is where you're going to put your answer, right? Well, your answer happens to be an image. So we are going to use the embedded image tool, okay? So click on the embed image tool. We are now going to go over to the second tab here to Canvas, and we're going to select on My Files, okay? Once you've got my files um, lit up like this, you're going to upload a new file. So hit upload file. Now, as I've said before, my image was saved on my desktop. So I'm going to find that image. There it is. And click open. Then it's going to upload that, full, that file. There it is right there. Then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and hit update. This is the most important. This is like saving your work. Okay, hit update. Once you do that, the image will appear in Canvas. But notice it's really, really big right now. I won't be able to see all of that, just like you can't see all of that. So the next thing we need to do is change the size of this. Notice I clicked on it and it turned blue. When it's blue, grab the corner and make it smaller. And it'll just resize it until it fits nice and neat in the window. That's as big as I need it. I don't need it any bigger than that. So I have just finished answering this question. Okay. I've done everything it asked me to do. My image is showing in the box. So now I can submit my quiz. Or if it's in, in the next question, go on to the next question, whatever it happens to be. Okay, that's all there is to it. Practice, do it a couple of times, and then hopefully when you, we'll get really good at this and you'll be able to do it whenever you need. At any time, you're welcome to watch this video. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, you can always email me or visit me in my office hours. Thanks, guys. Bye.